Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I get ready for a whatnot sale. I do have a whatnot auction tonight, and I have the links all below. Um, I actually have one like every day coming up this week because I had a lot of stuff going on last week, so I had to move things around. Um, but yeah. I'm just gonna take you guys along with me as I get ready for our Sunday shoe shop auction and show you kind of like my process for getting ready. So before I do that, I'm gonna give you a tour around the office so hopefully I don't make you too dizzy. I'll back up. <laughs> so this is my office. Um, and if I turn around, this is my dining room. So this is the front door of our house. So it's right when you come in. So right when you come into my front door of my house, you see a big mess. But normally, I don't have this mess out. It's just because I prepped for last week's auctions and then I didn't get to run some of them. And so here we are. So how I prep. I thought um, this month, this is only my second month. I started on what, not in July. And it was just like every week I was like, every auction, I had like great anxiety because I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to auction? And this is something that it started off that I just wanted to be like fun. But now I'm like, I want to grow it into a profitable arm of our business and use it to get rid of inventory that we've had for a long time that hasn't sold on Poshmark or even sourced directly for it um, with great items that we find from the bins, but might not meet um, the aesthetic that we're, we're transitioning our online resale market to. But they're still good items that we want to save from landfill. So when I started out with the randomness in July, I decided in August that I was going to plan out the whole month put all the shows up for the month. And so that's what I've done. And so I'll show you. Um, I have these. Um, these are all the Sunday auctions that they're going to be. And then I have the bins here so in my office behind me on that table that you see when I'm <laughs> um, doing my haul videos and sorting. Sometimes I have uh, these are the auctions for the month all lined up and items that have already been pulled and this helps this helps me in a several ways one way as i source things um and I, from the bins or wherever and i think that they would good, be good for the auction um after i wash them i can just throw them in there and then when it's time for the auction i don't have to pull anything I have all the items that are most of the items that I need for the auctions. I like to do at least 30 and so far I haven't done more than 60. I am going to challenge myself to do longer auctions um, as time goes on and I have more of a following but I do like to start with at least 30 items now. So if it is in a package like this that means it has been pulled from our pre-existing Poshmark inventory. It is still on Poshmark and eBay and all the other places. And we've, um, I've noted on the spreadsheet that it's up here in the I Love Denim bin. That way if it were to sell, and we have had several things sell for full price that I had planned to auction off for as low as $2. So you just never know what's gonna sell. And I just, I do feel like everything that I have that I'm auctioning off is valuable and not junk. Um, but I just have a lot of things and I can, if I can pass on good savings to other resellers or just even other people who want good pre-owned clothing, shoes and accessories, I'm fine with that. And I'm also fine with like trying to build community on whatnot because I do work alone with my husband and I do miss like a work community. So I will show you some of the things that I have already pulled for tonight's shoe shop auction um, throughout the past week or so. Okay, so here's the tub for this tonight's auction of things that I've already like collected 
either while I'm cleaning out other things or just from wherever. So I'm gonna just—I decided I'm gonna do shoes and bags because I ran into when I was cleaning out the garage a bag full of bags. So here is a purse. This one I think I'm gonna go ahead and list on Poshmark because this is a really expensive brand and it's like brand new inside. These are all my mother-in-law's. You'll see when I go out into the garage that I am working on cleaning out the garage. And so I have stuff everywhere. And then this like gold tote bag. Then as far as the shoes, these are um, a pair of my old shoes that they're spring steps. They're in good pre-owned condition, size nine. Of course, I'm not gonna sell just my shoes because that would only be one size, but um, these are shoes I don't wear anymore. These are also mine. These are Skechers. I used to keep these in my desk at school. Um, and I don't, I don't teach anymore. And I don't wear those anymore. Um, this is a Michael Kors little um, crossbody purse. That was my mother-in-law's. And I still am on the fence about this guy. I need to do some research to see. This is J-O-V... Um, Susanna, but this is new, brand new, and it has the strap inside leather wristlet. This is a fossil bag. Um, this I'm going to trash because the strap is all tangled, so it's going to be trash. But this is a cute straw bag. And this is a Crabtree and Evelyn tote bag, new with the tags. And then I have these note sandals. So those are all of the pieces. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to go find 22 more items that I want to include in today's auction. So I'm going to take you along with me out to the garage to look at some shoes. So here we go. So this is the garage. Don't be alarmed. This is where I find all the good stuff. So we just moved into this house back in May. And the garage has been like, I don't want to say a dumping ground, a holding center. So I've been working on cleaning out all the boxes and organizing the stuff into tubs one at a time as we go through this process of moving in. But as I go through this process, I find things that we can resell. So I'm going to go through our shoe boxes and see what I want to resell. So I'll take you along with me. So got a little sidetracked, but what I'm doing right now is taking the stuff from last night's auction that didn't sell and deciding where it's going to go. Um, so if it's going to go into um, the next clothing auction, which is Monday, and it is my bins haul from last week. So these are some athletic things I have pulled from that rack because um, I had athletic wear last night, but I did get them at the bins. So... They'll just go back to that option. And I think that was, oh, this was one. I think that was it. So then the rest of these items, I'll decide if they need to go in one of the upcoming auctions or if they just need to be put back in inventory. So the next thing that I do, now that I've pulled all my items, is that I have to change them on the spreadsheet. Um, we have way too many items for me to just try to focus on memory. So the next step in the process of preparing for a whatnot auction is that all of the items that I pull that are behind me, um, I need to take them or change them on my spreadsheet. And I'm just going to change that they're in whatnot auction. That way, if um, they should sell between now and when I can get them put back, or my husband can get them put back for me, um, 
we know where they are. It also helps him that if something sells, to go change it on the spreadsheet um, for what it sold for or whatnot, and to remove the, that item or items from list perfectly so that um, they will be deactivated on all the platforms. Because most of, unless I just picked it up from the bins or sourcing, most of the stuff that we have in our whatnot auctions are also still listed on all the platforms. We just, I just recently started sourcing exclusively for whatnot. So, and there is a different process for adding those things that I do source specifically for whatnot that don't sell in the cell that they were bought for, which I can go through in another video. So I'm gonna just remove a couple of things from the spreadsheet and then we'll go to the next step. So I put all the items in order. So this will be the first and then they just go across. The bags are down in the tote in order. And then this is the remaining items that will be auctioned. So we'll start in this top row, then wrap back around. And then as things finish, I sell, I'm just gonna put, so as things sell, I'll just put a post-it on it so I know that it's sold. Um, but whatnot does a good job of giving you a report of all that. Um, I kind of would like to like put them in a tub so that I could clear my space, but we'll see how I go. It goes when we're in the heat of battle. So like I said, mentioned, I have auctions all week. And so on this rack here, this is the, um, auction for rotation roundup. So the things are already on here. I've um, added some things that didn't sell in the workout show last night, um, but I had found, and then there's also some older things that I've gotten picked up here and there that are on here as well. So it should be a pretty good auction. This is actually not going to go until Tuesday. Um, Monday's show is the floral show. And so I have this bin down here of all my floral items. So I'll go through the same process with those, um, probably start after I do this, where I weigh them, put their photos and everything on Poshmark and then get them hung up and ready for tomorrow. So I'm not behind the gun. Set Monday show, I believe is at four, but double check and just go on and follow me and bookmark me. So bookmark all my shows so that you can get updates when they I go live. Thank you so much for hanging in with me through this like multi-piece video and hope to see you in my whatnot. If I do, make sure you let me know that you're from YouTube and say hey. And until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, follow, do all the things. Bye-bye.